What's up guys? Uh, today we're going to do a little side-by-side -side comparison of the two, I would probably say, flagship uh, assistants, voice assistants in the market right now. On the left we have Apple's iPhone with Siri, obviously. And on the right we have Samsung's latest flagship phone, the Galaxy S8 Plus with Bixby. Uh, with these devices I will ask them the same questions. We're going to see which one answers it better, which one can, which one cannot. And I will be using Hey Siri to activate Apple on the left. And I will be using Hi Bixby to activate Samsung on the right. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey Siri, what's the weather like? It should be nice today, up to 84 degrees. Hi Bixby, what's the weather like? It's 83 with lots of sunshine today. Hey Siri, Read my schedule. Okay, what's the date? Hey Siri. What's my schedule like today? You don't have any appointments on your calendar for today. Hi Bixby. What's my schedule look like today? today on your calendar. So they both answered it correctly. I just haven't put anything in my uh, Apple calendar, so that's fair. Hey Siri, get me an Uber to Niagara Falls Airport. I don't see an app for that. You'll need to download one. Hi Bixby. Get me an Uber to Niagara Falls Airport. Which one? And it seems that Bixby can complete it. I don't know why Siri didn't. I feel like that's something Siri can do. And Bixby's still listening. Hey Siri. Read me my last email. To whom shall I send it? Read me my last email. Your email message is empty. Hi Bixby. Read me my last email. Got it. Let's look for the email you'd like to see. Hey Siri. Show me photos I took two months ago. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Hi, Bixby. Show me photos I took two months ago. Okay, I found two pictures. Hey, Siri. How do you say thank you very much in Korean? Okay. I found something on the web for how do you say thank you very much in Korean. Take a look. Hi, Bixby. How do you say thank you very much in Korean? Let's take a look at what I found on the web. Okay, so they both kind of suck at that, but in all fairness, when Bixby fails... Okay, Google. How do you say thank you very much in Korean? Oh, it answered on my Google Home as well. Crazy. So yeah, so if Bixby can't do something for you, usually uh, the Google Assistant will. Hey Siri, go to my home screen. Just press the home button to get to the home screen. Hi Bixby, show me my home screen. And it unlocks my phone and shows me my home screen. Hey Siri. Show me my notifications. You have notifications from Discover. Hi Bixby. 
Hi, Bixby. Show me my notifications. Okay, here are your notifications. Hi, Bixby. Expand the email notification. All right, I've expanded those notifications. Hi, Bixby. Clear all of my notifications. Done. All notifications have been deleted. Hey, Siri. Clear all of my notifications. I'm sorry, Aaron. I'm afraid I can't do that. Hey, Siri. Open the calculator. Hi, Bixby. Open the calculator. Sure, here it is. Hey Siri, open this as a pop-up menu. The only possibility I found is the Poppin' in Buffalo, which averages five stars. Want to try that one? Hi Bixby. Hi Bixby. Turn this into a pop-up menu. All set. I've opened it for you. Hi, Bixby. Minimize this app. You got it. The app is now minimized. That's just a little hat tip to Android. I just, I had to do it. Hi, Bixby. What is the derivative of 2x squared? All right, I'm ready to calculate. Check the screen. Hey Siri, what's the derivative of 2x squared? Okay, give me a moment. Here's what I found. Take a look. And that's incredibly smart because that's incredibly right. Right in the app. Something Siri is amazing for because it has, um, it has Wolfram Alpha built into it. Hey Siri, remove the location data from the last picture that I took. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Sorry Aaron, I cannot delete photos. So you told me to unlock my phone just to tell me that you can't do it. Could have saved a step and just said you couldn't do it. Hi Bixby, remove the location data from the last picture that I took. Moved it. Awesome job. Hey Siri, how far away am I from New York City? New York is about 302 miles away as the crow flies. <laughs> That's funny. Hi Bixby, how far away am I from New York City? Here's what I found on the web. That's actually really disappointing. How far away am I from New York City? It's 401 miles to get to your current location from New York by car. Hey Siri, how many pizzerias are within five miles of me? I found something on the web about how many pizzerias are within five miles of me. Check it out. Hi, Bixby. How many pizzerias are within five miles of me? Okay, here's what I found on the web. Okay, Google. How many pizzerias are within five miles with me? I found a few places within five miles. I found within five miles. Yeah, I heard you the first time. That was annoying. Hey Siri, 
Show me the legal information about this phone. Hi, Bixby. Show me the legal information about this phone. Got it. Here it is. So that's a quick little tutorial of Siri versus Bixby. Uh, Bixby was just released in the US just a couple weeks ago. She is still listening to me. That's kind of creepy. But um, yeah, so that's that. There are some things that Siri can do a lot better. There are some things that Bixby can do a lot better. But then again, there's always Google that can do all of it always a lot better. So if you're thinking about picking one up, I'd recommend it. I'm not recommending it for Bixby, but I'm using a little bit more and more each day, and it's pretty cool. So that's that video. Look for the Galaxy vs. iPhone entire video coming up really soon. I just didn't have time to finish editing it today, so that should be up really soon, along with this one. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!